Once a tooth or multiple teeth are removed, the most common question is, how will I replace these teeth? At Nunley, Freeman & Owens, we'll discuss all the options and find the one right for you. In some cases, it's not necessary to replace teeth, especially if it's an upper back molar. Not replacing a tooth is always the patient's option. However, most of the time, it's wise to replace a missing tooth to prevent other teeth from shifting and causing problems with occlusion and function in the future. The replacement options are based on many different things, such as where the tooth is located in the mouth, what teeth are adjacent to it, your immune system, and your personal goals. You'll have a chance to discuss your individual options during your exam. If a tooth is missing, one common replacement option is something that is removable. In some cases, this will need to be a full removable partial that covers multiple surfaces in the mouth on both sides. You can also do a removable unilateral, which just replaces a single tooth. Another option is to do a fixed bridge, which utilizes the teeth on either side of the extraction site. This involves placing crowns on those teeth to use them as anchors and then connecting them with a filler crown in the middle that replaces the tooth that is missing. And finally, for some patients, implants are an option. This will be dependent upon several factors, including the amount of bone the patient has after healing. There's always the possibility that bone grafting and or a sinus slip will be necessary. There are two types of implants. Titanium implants are the most common and have been available for a longer period of time. However, zirconia implants or ceramic implants have been used in Europe for the last 50 years and have been available and approved for use in the United States for two decades. When possible, we prefer the use of zirconia implants because it eliminates metal being implanted into the bone. Zirconia has emerged as a truly biocompatible material in dentistry the crystal form of the element zirconium. The non-metal properties allow it to be anti-allergenic and show great response with the hard and soft tissues of the mouth. In addition, there's much less bacterial adherence with these implants and therefore much less plaque, which creates a healthy environment in the mouth. All of these options for tooth replacement will be based on your individual case. We refer all of our implant cases to a specialist for a full evaluation to determine the best course of treatment.